Some of you kids don't even know what this thing is. You're like, what is that? Yup, 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 yup. That's right. I'm in Puerto Rico. <laughs> that little bad boy up for the home collection I'm uh, not the biggest runner in the world but whew, nothing like a good sweat in the morning especially with that view some of you kids don't even know what this thing is you're like what is that usually and I shouldn't be touching this a phone hangs right here you put some change in blink 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 and go dee 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 all right thanks airbnb thanks little house it was a good stay it treated us well Woo. all right we're not doing some actual hiking but i guess it required us to park back there and walk up to this lighthouse up there Yeah. So I was reading a little bit on the thing on the internet and it said that uh, this place area is called in English it's Dirty Beach. Playa de Sucia or Playa Sucia. However you pronounce it. Man, this breeze is nice. It was an easy walk. Lighthouse, I, I, the name, I'll put it right there. As, as soon as I figure out what it is. Where is it? Can I see it? Where is it? I cannot see it. Yo, drone friends. Did they get a permit to fly out here? Because on the signs walking up this way and everywhere leading up to it, it said no drones. So y'all tell me. Yo, this is pretty sick. Look at that. I mean, look at that back there, up over everything and then there's more ocean. It's kinda cool, yup. So cool out here. The ocean is beautiful. It's breezy, so it's nice. I mean, it's still really hot, but look at how blue everything is. Look at that. That damn drone. You're not supposed to have drones out here, apparently, but you won't see them, but you can hear them. You can hear them. Right there, that's who's flying it right there. Look at that, it's coming down. And look at this. Yeah! Look how beautiful that is. This thing's everywhere out here. We 
because we're, uh, I think we're literally below the water line of the shore right here. Look at this part of the sand. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but check this out. All right. Yeah. Huh. Uh huh. There's turtles? I left my phone in my car, I'm so mad right now. Or in the car. Ugh. Oh, there's people actually hanging out right here, okay. Dude's fishing. It doesn't look like it caught too much, but look at that. Yo, as we all know, this place in Puerto Rico has been pummeled by hurricane after hurricane in the last handful of years. And we happened to cross this area right here and I had to stop and get this because it look, it, the destruction out here is crazy. Like none of this has even grown back. And it's been, a, you know, at least a year since the hurricane, uh, the last hurricane had passed through here. It's just, it's annihilated. You, you don't see too much craziness in all the places that we've been, but this was the first one where I seen crazy destruction. I mean, it's not, it's just natural. Wow, I can't even, I wanted to put this camera down to get a stable shot and I couldn't put it down. It's, it's beat up out here. But yeah, I just, I mean, here's more of the, I mean, they just, you know, things don't get fixed. Things don't get fixed at all out here. I mean, th th look, on the other side of this area, there's, there's, a beautiful beach and you know things have have recovered in some ways but i mean look at this here let me watch this you see this i mean that was probably there before the hurricane but i'm sure hurricane damage caused it run up here look at this i mean you this is nuts just wasteland it's kind of rough to see i mean you know i hope it slowly and continually gets better but we had to stop for a quick minute just to get that so we're trying to get to the pink flats the pink salt lagoon flats here and um, this little cat is guarding the entryway nah he's like he's got a little can they're like he's hungry he's hungry there's literally cats everywhere out here that are just like hanging out like hoping for a handout So this is what we originally were looking for when we happened across uh, all that kind of crazy carnage. Oh, that's nasty right there. Look at this though. But it's kind of nuts, pink. All kinds of pink lagoon out here. Yup. So if you remember a couple weeks back, I uh, was in the Bonneville salt flats where that salt is pure white. These are the pink salt flats. Okay, I don't know if it's salt flats, but this is the pink salt of Puerto Rico. Um, I read that the reason it's pink is because they have these little microorganism shrimps that help, I guess, extract the salt or make more salt or something like that that causes the color. If your hand falls off after, I know what happened, right? Oh man, there we go. So everything said not to touch, but he couldn't resist. Grabbed a little salt, threw it over the shoulder for some good luck. Buena suerte. <laughs> Was it the left shoulder? I don't remember. Caught another storm. I mean, it's coming down. Wow, there's a blur. That guy almost just got it. Yeah, the lights are all out, you can see storm put the lights out. Nobody want to do the stop and go, huh? Everybody just ready to rock and roll? That's so crazy. Can we get a stop and go system, guys? No? No one? Anyone? No? No? No, it's just It's whoever has the biggest balls.
Yo, that's dope. So, we ventured through the rain and the rainforest. It was like pouring rain on us and got to here. The rain broke just long enough for us to get out here and get this. There's a bunch of surfers out here. It's like surfer town. It's called Rincon. It got me a little. What's up, buddy? Now I gotta run. Now I gotta run up. Now that I properly have the shoes off, I, you know, I still have some stuff on me, but. Water here is colder than on the other side of the island. Maybe that explains why the bigger waves in the bay. <laughs> that water came rushing up at you. Abandoned. I don't know if you can call that abandoned boat. It looks like it washed up on shore here, actually. Beach, Dome. It's called Dome's Beach. I guess a lot of expats hang out here in this part of the city because of a lot of surfing, as you saw. But Dome, Dome's Beach. <laughs> Happened across this uh, cool. We're still in Rincon, and um, it's surfer town out here. So of course, naturally, they have these really, really um, Americanized, I guess, Western uh, restaurants. And this one's like a really, really beachy one. With look at, look at, you see those? I'm gonna try and catch that sunset right here. That's if the clouds and the rain want to cooperate because it's half the day has been rained out. And, but we did get to see a lot of stuff today, but it's uh, been rainy. The beach house. This is backwards, but I beg to differ. I think sunsets are free. This right here, coupled with the ling well, okay, it's not linguine sauce, but the mussels and that sauce. Woo. Just got back to the beach house. I'm gonna catch this sunset today. I'm gonna catch this sunset today. Here's a preview. Sun's down. I mean, it's almost all the way down. There's uh, clouds blocking it, so that's all you get. 